this is Alex with GrowHow, and today we're pruning this Fuji apple tree. One of the big points that I, I really cover in my videos is pruning trees. It's extremely hard to show on video though, but this year I wanted to, to be able to see the whole process and I've got some before and after shots I'm working with to show you what a tree uh, does look like now, what it can look like, and talk about the process as we go. The first thing you need to remember when we're doing a prune is there are certain things that, that are more important. First thing is, is dead and diseased branches. If this tree has any fire blight, which I haven't noticed yet, so it shouldn't, that goes as a diseased branch. I, it shouldn't be an issue because I'm pretty sure I don't have it. But if there's any dead branches, they will go. Any branches that are rubbing. Now in an apple tree, this is always subjective. There's always branches rubbing in an apple tree. You have to get out the worst branches for rubbing or the ones that you think will rub next year but you're likely to never actually get them all out in an apple tree. It's a process you'll have to go through every year. And then anything that's broken, we're gonna look at structure, we're gonna look at those things, but always remember, dead just can come out. It's already dead, the plant's already accounted for it, just take it out. And get the diseased, get the rubbing branches, and we should be pretty good. So let's have a go at this one. Right now I can see I've got a lot a smaller rubbing branches, a lot of branches going in just the wrong direction. This never really had a strong central leader, which is what I'm pruning this for, is a modified central leader. Fuji apples, Red Delicious, and other apples related to Red Delicious will do better with a central leader rather than an open center. Uh, in my case, I want a modified central leader because I want to keep this tree smaller. This tree, again, really isn't cooperating. It wants to go at skinwampus angles. But there is going to be something that will be dominant there that will serve as a central leader for it. And let's face it, I'm not looking for a pretty tree. I'm looking for a healthy, productive tree. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is look for dead branches. My tree's in excellent health for that. I'm also going to take a look at these tags. I've left them on because I have not properly documented this in my, my garden journal. But they are starting to put pressure on the tree. So I'm here, I'm gonna loosen those up. And later today, I really need to get this in my gardening journal. My tree is really good. There's nothing dead, there's nothing diseased, which is great. But, I've got branches rubbing here. This branch is gonna interfere with this branch no matter what I do. Uh, I've got inward growing branches that I don't want growing into the center of the tree. And since those are also my rubbing branches, I'm gonna start on those first. But I should mention, all I'm using for this a set of loppers and a set of clippers. I don't need a saw for a tree this size. Certainly not the branches I'm removing today. So let's have a go at it. Let's get those inward ones growing, going out or removed. And that's already removed most of my crossing limbs. Now, this one right here is supposed to be going upward. It's not, but I'm gonna take out some of the uh, sturdier branches and I'm gonna let it hopefully redirect its growth up to preferably neither of those branches. We'll see what it gives us next year. Uh, this one's growing inward. That's an easy remove, that one's growing inward. See, this side's looking nice. I don't want this branch taller than what my central leader is, so I'm gonna prune that down to a bud that's growing outward. You can't see that on the video, which is one of the difficulties of video. Uh, unless I've got somebody helping me, I, I can't show you all the details. So then this one, I sort of like and sort of don't like. Uh, but down here, I've got this branch that spreads out two directions. I'd rather have it go that direction there. And I come over here and this one's still annoying the snot out of me. This one's still in a bad spot. And I'm going to cut it to a branch that's growing straight towards me. And that's improved that a lot. I'm, this isn't going to be rubbing anytime in the next two decades. 
although that little branch can go off because it will. I'm going to move my position. I'll see something from a different angle. I'm going to come over here. And you know, this branch is also starting to compete with what I want my central leader to be. Yet I've got this nice strong branch growing here. I'm going to take that off. And that also opens up this tree a lot. I'm going to take that one out as well. Now this down here, I can either leave it or I can keep it. Uh, if I keep it, this is going to be a tree that fro fruits very low. I'm going to take the branch below it, but I think I'll leave this one for this year. I'm not sure I want to keep it. Now, one of the things we're trying to do is we're trying to get some balanced, even growth so that everything isn't competing. Uh, this, this branch right here may come out in a future year. I'm not worried about it right now. I come over here though, and these are gonna compete with here. And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut that, and that's gonna hopefully redirect my growth to this side right here towards the building, which is my weak side. I don't have a lot as much growth here. That was partially on purpose. Now, I finally found a dead branch. Um, the tip of this is dead. Got a good bud there, but I don't really need a branch there. Honestly, I don't need one on the side either. Now, I'm gonna tell you, this tree doesn't look spectacular. It's gangly. I got it on a discount. That's why it's gangly. I, I took a weak tree from work when I worked in the nursery, and one that was gonna be hard to sell, and I, I got a discount on it. Uh, there's an alternate way I could have done this. I could have bought this, I could have cut it all down about that high and I could have seen what happens. And I have friends who do that. I like working with what I've got. Um, these and this are also gonna interfere. I've got a little bit of dead here, and these two branches are going to give me grief. They're poorly attached to each other. Now, if I, I limit the growth on one side or eliminate it, then I'm more likely to have the strength there. If this branch does really well, I'll remove this one next year. But you know what? It's always easy to remove something in the future. It's really hard to stick it back on. So for this year, uh, I think I'm done. I like the growth here. This is gonna be eventually uh, some good fruiting wood through here. So I'm really happy to leave that. Um, judging from the size of buds, I may actually get some fruit this coming year. I may or may not allow it to live. There's your pruning a tree in a nutshell. It's very quick, fairly easy. And remember, when a tree is this size, when a tree is this size, it's actually, uh, it's hard to do a lot of damage to it. As it gets older and people decide to do severe prunings on them, that causes a lot of damage. But right now, uh, this tree, it's hard to damage it. So it's, it's a nice place starting with a new tree where you're just less likely to cause a lot of issues if you're, if you're new to the, to the business and new to what you're doing. Uh, please put any questions in the comments below. And here's the after shot. You'll notice uh, there's a lot less density to the tree. And that openness is part of what I want. That openness allows air to get in, to create circulation. It helps eliminate fungus. And also you'll notice you're going to get more sunlight into the leaves you have. So the tree is going to get more energy per leaf than it would normally without pruning. And that's one thing we're looking for. Good fruit requires good energy production because that energy goes into the sugar. Uh, please subscribe, hit the bell button if you want to hear more about gardening, pruning, and just living a good life. I, I put a lot of stuff into this channel that is a little bit eclectic, but it's... It all matters, I think. Uh, catch y'all later. Manana.